Oh yeah, we out here. What's up, dudes? So, um, I was gonna tack this onto the end of my cover that I just put out. If you haven't checked it out, go ahead and do that. It should be somewhere on the screen or something like that. But first off, I wanted to like sincerely, genuinely thank you guys for, for all the support on the covers and stuff I've uploaded. Uh, I haven't been doing a good job of uploading more, obviously. Uh, but even with that, you guys are are still always just, I'll get a just random super nice comment or like be scrolling through Facebook and somebody has posted one of the videos in like the Dance Gavin Dance Group or something. And it's just like freaking how? Like I really, really do appreciate it. And it means a whole lot to me that people still care and like still listen to the stuff so thank you guys for real for just listening i plan on giving you guys a lot more here soon so that's partly what this video is about just kind of a general channel update and a like why things have been the way they have been uh, here for the past couple of years so uh yeah just wanted to update y'all with a couple things some things that i've been doing that is part of the reason why i haven't been posting things y'all might be interested in and uh things that i plan on posting now that i'm doing that again i promise i promise hold me to it a cover a month a cover every two weeks is that too hard you just gotta sing bro that's literally it you just sing and play like it ain't that hard so things i've been doing apart from this my band plastic weekend Over the past year, we've been writing an album. It's fully recorded and everything. Um, our vocalist and one of the best people to ever walk this earth, honestly, Marcus Baggins, he he passed away back in February. It just super tragic and just still feels unreal. Uh, he's one of those people that, you know, he just shined. He, he man, that guy, he would just cut up and carry on and laugh and, we we had some good times, man. I, I I will miss that guy forever. Love you, Marky B. But that album is recorded. We're still working on it. We have things planned past the album. Uh, we're we're carrying on as a band. So things like that are still to come from the PW. So go follow us. Check us out. This album, man, it's gonna be something. I'm I'm really really excited for it. It's just it has a lot more. Meaning, especially now for us, life is crazy, dude. Like things can happen like that and just there's nothing that can prepare you for it. So you got to take every second uh, as it is. But yeah, if you guys want to uh, check us out and keep up to date with the stuff we have coming, like the album and stuff like that. Uh, go follow our Instagram, Facebook, and all that. I'll link it down below. Another thing I've been doing, too, that's been keeping me pretty busy is my artwork stuff. So I do, like, landscape paintings and stuff like that. And it's uh, taken off decently in the past year or so. So been staying pretty... Here you go. This is one that I did recently that did well on the, on the Reddits. The Reddits found it, and I'm very happy. I am doing recreations of these. I'm doing 50 of those. I have prints available as well and a bunch of my other stuff. So if you like art and like supporting your boy, go check out my store. I'll link it below. Thank you. It's pretty straight. Oh God, I'm sorry. Any doctors in the, in the comments, tell me what's going on with my throat, why it does that. Also have some other projects in the works too, but I'll uh, I'll keep you all up to date with that as that progresses because it's stuff that I'm pretty pretty excited about. Apart from that, things I have planned: obviously more covers, more dance, give a dance, more of other bands too. Probably more general type content. It won't all be covers and music. Uh, some of it will be music related for sure. Might do some gaming. <laughs> One thing that 
I think y'all will really be excited about based on the, the comments I've been getting. Uh, I'm going to do a tutorial for each of the uh, covers that I've done. That'll be real fun. Hopefully it'll be helpful for y'all, anybody that wants to play these acoustic versions. Uh, to have at it. You will have the chords. I will gift you the chords. One reason that I haven't commented back is I have like certain chords that I play and stuff, but I don't know the technical. I mean, obviously you have G and C and stuff like that, but mine are not quite. I'm, I'm more sophisticated than that, guys. Mine, mine uh, involve a lot of different voicings. I'm pretty much a jazz guitar player, if you will. Um, no, I'm just an idiot and don't know the actual chord name, so I'm going to ask my very uh, knowledgeable and cool friend and bandmate, Zach, to help me with the actual chord names, so you'll have those as well. Uh, but yeah, those are, those are coming, something I'm really excited about. And while the things that I mentioned, like the band and painting and stuff, they've definitely had a part in why I haven't uploaded. I mean, it, it also comes down to something. I feel like a lot of people can probably relate to this. You sit down and you get to do something or work on something and you get halfway through it or you get a little ways into it and it just is not what you wanted it to be like. Uh, I could do better or this could be different or that could be different. You overanalyze it to the point of you don't ever actually do anything with it. So you either just give up on it or say, oh, I'll come back to it in, in a couple days. And then life does its thing where you have, you have too much stuff to do. Recently, I've been trying to be a little less like that and kind of just take things for how they are. I can get better as I progress, but all I can do now is just do it you know you just do it and put it out there and you'll be surprised at the amount of people who will genuinely like it obviously there's going to be people that you're not going to be able to please and that's fine your stuff is not for them so try not to go too hard on yourself you know i think that we can all do that a little much at times and it's it will hinder you more than it will do you good you need to be able to look at yourself and be honest with yourself of where you need to improve but uh, at the same time, you can only do so much right now to change that. So uh, just putting yourself out there, putting whatever you're doing that you you might be doubtful of out there and just letting it speak for itself, you know? Uh, nothing has to be perfect. I don't think anybody expects anything to be perfect. Um, or at least I hope they don't. If they have those expectations, that's on them and not you. So as long as you at the end of the day are overall happy with what you're doing, and even if you aren't, just get a second opinion sometimes and you'll be you'll be shocked at people's responses. Because again, you do go harder on yourself than other people are going to go on you. So giving yourself that benefit of the doubt and just moving forward and putting out what you want. That's really the the only thing you can do to kind of beat that. I don't know why I'm sitting here lecturing now, but just kind of wanted to bring that out. This this video title is probably something along the lines of like why I haven't been posting or some some dumb clickbaity crap like that. But I mean, it's true. These these things are all the reasons that I haven't been doing as much on here. But that's all about to change. But uh, yeah, thank y'all for clicking on a video that isn't a cover and listening. And it's just me rambling for God knows how long this video will be. But uh, yeah, I just uh, I wanted to connect with you guys because y'all have been giving me so much love over the, the past few years. And I haven't been as uh, connected through the comments and stuff like that as I would like to be. So just wanted to make this as a as a thank you and an update and just let y'all know where we're going over here. So yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. See ya on our home street.